Hi boys and girls, it's Miss J here again, and we're going to be doing a science lesson on did you know that the gas in your car is actually millions of years old? Well, speaking of gas, uh, no, it's not me. That's the reason Jeffrey's in here, and he excuses himself from this lesson because he has an issue with gas today. Yeah, it's okay, Jeffrey, we still love you. Okay, so getting back to the topic about gas. <laughs> if you were lucky enough to go anywhere today, um, you probably used a car, and using that car you used a source of energy that is actually millions of years old. Coal, oil, and natural gas are all used to produce, to make, energy. They are called fossil fuels because they're made of plants and animals that lived way before the age of the dinosaurs. About 350 million years ago, the earth was covered with swamps and forests and seas. Over time, huge numbers of plants and tiny little sea animals died and became buried under layers of mud and sand. Just like all living things, these plants and animals contained carbon. Millions of years of heat and pressure turned the carbon in these plants and animals into fossil fuels. And they're trapped into the deep inside of our great planet Earth. Fossil fuels are used to produce most of the energy in the world. Burning coal provides power to electrical plants and factories. Oil is used to make gasoline for cars, airplanes, and machinery. Natural gas is used in homes for heating and cooking. Unfortunately, we are using these resources up much faster than they were created. It took millions of years to create fossil fuels, and yet the United States alone uses more than 20 million barrels of oil every day. If we keep using all these fossil fuels at today's rate, scientists estimate that in less than 50 years, we will not have enough left to heat our homes and drive our cars. Many scientists are trying to find new sources of renewable energy or energy that will not run out. These are called renewable energy because they can be used again and again and again. Sunlight, wind, and water are just a few examples of renewable energy. Scientists have figured out how to use the power of the ocean waves as and heat the inside and, and heat inside the Earth's core to create electricity. Someday you might even drive a car powered by water. Now I know my board back here is a little shiny, but this side right here says renewable energy. So renewable energy is is the energy you can use over and over and over. It's kind of like renewing your book in the library, you renew it, you can, you can read it again. And that includes solar energy, wind, biomass, that's making um, energy with plants, and hydroelectric, which is water. Now on this side of my board, this is called non-renewable energy. It's oil, coal, nuclear energy, and natural gas. These on these side, once we use those up, they're gone forever, forever. All right, so I have some questions for you to answer, but before we do, I just realized I forgot to tell you the answers for yesterday's on how is paper made. So I'm gonna tell you those answers first, and then I'm gonna to go to the questions for today's lesson. Okay, sorry about that. All right, how is paper made? One, how much paper does the average American use each year? The answer was B, 500 pounds. 
Number two, which part of the tree is used to make the paper? A, the fiber part. Number three, what is pulp? C, a mixture of wood, water, and chemicals. Number four, how does recycling paper help the environment? D, all of these above. Here's your questions for today. The topic again was, did you know that the gas in your car is millions of years old? I'll wait for you to get your papers ready so that you can get it number to four today. There are qu four questions today. I'll give you a second. Yes, I, I like it. Yes, thank you, Bobby. I like it when you put a period after the number one. Yep, yep, that's okay. Yep, and the title, remember the title and then your name and the date. You always date everything you write on your journal. Okay, did you know that the gas in your car is millions of years old? One, which of the following is a fossil fuel? A, coal, B, oil, C, natural gas, or D, all of these above? Number two. What are fossil fuels made from? A, dead plants and animals. B, mud and sand. C, heat and pressure. Or D, all of these above. Hmm. Number three. Which of the following use coal for energy? A, cars. B, airplanes. C, factories. D, all of these above. Hmm. Number four, according to the passage, that means according to the story or the article, what is the main problem with fossil fuels? Oh, I know the answer to that one. Okay, A, they will eventually run out. B, they do not produce enough energy to heat our homes and fuel our, house, our cars. C, Scientists have not figured out how to harness their power, or D, they are trapped under the layers of mud and sand. Now remember, I'm going to give you the answers to these new questions in our next lesson. That will be lesson number five. So for today, boys and girls, this was your science lesson with Miss J. I hope you enjoyed it. And Briley, there's going to be a surprise for you.